This is crazy. You are, I, w I messaged you about uh, doing five pull-ups, five push-ups, and five leg raises for 20 sets. And I, like, me and my friends call it the Mike Chang workout. <laughs> awesome. Nice. What is your name? I'm Justin. Justin. Are you Justin Swartz? Yeah, it's it's Justin Schatz. Justin Schatz, Schatz. sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no worries at all. Yeah. So awesome. I've I've been following you like literally for ten years when you had six pack shortcuts, and uh, I've just uh, I've I've been I was always inspired by you. I was like, when I'm growing up, like I need to get a six pack like Mike Chang, and now you're you've like change your whole business model and, and and everything like you're focused on like holistic stuff and 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 so i followed you for a long time oh, thank you so much man for the support and for following and thank you man thank you for yeah. being part of your journey yeah thank you thank you for inspiring so many people my pleasure pleasure i'm passionate about this so it's uh it doesn't feel like work just just hanging out and just chatting yeah no totally i love i love like your energy it's great it, it literally inspires so many people so thank you awesome man is there a question that you have that maybe i can answer for you justin yeah so i noticed like a lot of your a lot of your uh like workout related stuff is like not really like focus on you know like lifting a ton of weight and stuff so how do you stay in shape um like cardiovascular wise and also like like weight training wise while not focusing on just like lifting as much weight as you can like what is your what is kind of like your workout routine if that makes sense mm, okay uh, that's a great question and so the way i stay in shape is because i'm still doing exercises I'm still doing like I can drop down now and do 20 burpees and then come back up and have a full conversation without being, you know, uh, gassed out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not it's because I, I do it all the time. So I'm still exercising. And when I'm doing the flow practice, I do it every morning. I'm, I'm still exercising. I'm doing dips, pull ups, all this stuff. But it's just that the way that I'm exercising is changed. You know, when you know, in six pack shortcuts and pretty much most fitness trainers in general, it's about it's about moving the weight. You know, it's about sets. It's about repetition. It's about muscle contraction. It's about it's about, you know, exhausting the muscle and things like that. Mm -hmm. But there is no focus on letting go of tension. There's no focus on how to do it all of the focus is just accomplishing those checkpoints. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm training my muscles right now, I still have those checkpoints, but it's not, I'm not, that's not the only focus. The, the way that I'm doing it is now I stay as relaxed as I can. And I make sure that no emotions is triggered. Mm -hmm. If I'm stressed, if I used to work out, sometimes you're angry, you ever, work out when you're a little angry and you kind of use the anger to drive the weight definitely right? you ever you ever scrunch your face and you know this this aggressive none of that i don't do any of those things now huh. okay. so there's parameters and how i'm doing how there's parameters and how i'm tearing those muscles now there's parameters mm -hmm. now and how i'm doing these repetitions how hard do i push i don't push till my body cannot functionally do anymore right? What we call going to failure. I don't do that anymore. I may go ahead and do that. But my failure point is determined by number one, emotions, how much can I put before I'm emotionally triggered? Mm -hmm. Right? And number two, how much can I how much can I push until I feel a pain threshold that is not comfortable anymore mm -hmm. so what is comfort right well comfort is the the level this is how i define comfort comfort to me is the level that i can stay calm in mm -hmm. right so it's not that it's so if if i if i'm doing it to where 
my body can't do anymore. I'm totally at failure, but I'm able to stay calm while I execute my body till failure. Okay, maybe certain moves that I can do it. Maybe push-ups I can do it or something, right? Or maybe pull-ups. But maybe there's another move that I can't, that if I was to hit to failure, I'm not calm anymore. Right. So emotionally calm, mentally calm. Emotionally calm means there's a sense of centeredness on the inside. Our energy is not everywhere. We're not kind of this delirious type of feel, you know, just, just, just trying to push. Mentally calm means our mind is very present and we didn't, our mind is not racing. When somebody's pushing really hard, a lot of time their mind is kind of racing and saying all of this different stuff and they're not present. Mm -hmm. So those are the gauges that I use as a parameter to train. And so using those parameters, I still is able to train and build as much muscle as I want. Because as we know, calisthenics has evolved a lot. And you see a lot of guys that have really good size that are only doing calisthenics, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you, see, you see them, right? V taper, shredded, and good muscle bellies. They're not bodybuilders, but they are definitely very muscular. Mm -hmm. And so you can maintain, you can build a lot of muscle without weight training. And also by applying these parameters, you can also develop inner peace. You can develop calmness you can develop your ability to expand your awareness. And what that means is when you're reacting, you can now see the reaction before you actually do it. You can stop it. Think about all of the reactions that you do. Some reactions are good and some reactions are not. And the ones that are not get you in trouble. Right? Right. And when you can stop those reactions because you can catch it before it happens, but it takes expanding your awareness and you can expand your awareness by training your body this way. Okay. So that's, gotcha. how, that's how I'm able to maintain all of the athletic stuff and increase it and why and how anybody can build a phenomenal physique Right. And developing, developing their inner peace and developing their calmness. Right. right. I have one more, just one more quick question is uh, sure. like, what is, what is your, like, do you have like a morning routine? Do you meditate? Um, like, what do you do when you wake up to help you, you know, have a good day and, and feel that spiritual, like, uh, you know, um, experience, if that makes sense. Every morning when I wake up, I do my flow training practice. I do anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes. Once in a while, if I don't have a lot of time, I might do the seven minute one. Mm -hmm. And this practice is four different parts. The first part is energy flow to open up the blood circulation, the energy circulation and mobility. Mm -hmm. The second part is strength training, where I'm working on working on the muscles. The third part is flexibility, so I can go ahead and, and increase my flexibility or at least maintain it while releasing the tension and getting centered. While the fourth part is breath work and meditation, so I can connect, connect to a higher level of awareness and still my mind. So my mind is always very centered. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, get too mind chattery. It doesn't get too busy. Gotcha. Yeah, and gotcha. I do it every single morning. And also, I do it in the evening time, too. But the evening time varies. It's not the same practice. I have kind of a nighttime version. It's a little lower in intensity. Gotcha. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your, uh, for your advice. I really appreciate it. Seriously, like, since day one, like, you have inspired me to work out to be active and to you know like find the spiritual involvement in that and so i really appreciate that my pleasure thank you for sharing thank you for sharing and for being on here yeah 100 percent, uh, of course nice, nice. All thank right, you okay take care buddy Good you chat. too